Welcome back to Spicy Tech, I am Mark, and today we'll be looking at 12.3.6. We want to compare a human assertive to a machine assertive. We also want to see how it can be improved when the 12.4 software release comes in. So looking forward to this, and uh, let's get going. So we have it engaged here. Whew, that was pretty close, <laughs> but definitely uh, assertive in that sense. It was confident and it was in control. We have a very narrow road here. We have a car on the left side, car on the right side. And we are actually in the middle lane where you're supposed to be making left turns. So the system is handling it really well. The markings, you can see the markings here. Going at, a, at an appropriate speed. Perhaps it can go a little bit faster because we have cars behind us here that want to make that left turn but we are in position now so let's go up here now the positioning is a little bit off so that's one thing i can see 12.4 improving on it should be more in this side here and uh, keeping that control now it wants to go on the right side but then we have the lane closing off so it has to get back onto the the left side here so it, it quickly adjusted itself there but that could have confused cars behind vehicles behind Now we have construction on the right side. It tried to go inside of that spot there, but then it realized, no, you can't go there. And we have a right turn coming up here too as well. So quickly corrected itself. We have to make that right turn, but we have, uh, in a, we're in a tight position to actually make that turn and the car is locking its wheel. I'm gonna have to give it some jewels because we're getting honked at at the back. So definitely not human. So I'm just squeezing it here, giving it some jewels. And we have some room on the right side. On the left side, we have some room. We can go now. And it did that well. I'm getting a lot of nags though. Feel free to check out our previous video where we were using assertive mode in city streets, between cities, and it felt a little bit aggressive. It was cutting off individuals. Sometimes it didn't really feel safe. And that's not really akin to an assertive driver. This was perfect. It realized here right off the bat that this lane is actually going to end. It starts indicating. It's going a little bit too quick on that corner there. It just felt like we had to stop a little bit aggressively there. It wasn't it wasn't too unnatural but if it was a if i was driving i would probably slow down a little bit more there so in terms of turning corners especially blind corners we're looking at trying to slow down a little bit more especially if you can't see what's around the turn right around the corner itself and then we have this left turn too as well that could be a little bit tricky at first but we have no cars coming here so that's good makes that left turn smoothly too as well and accelerates up to speed to match traffic so, so far, so good. We have perfect conditions, bright skies. Not too sure if the actual glare will affect the camera, but we'll see. But what I would like to see with the overall system performance is how it performs in day and night. It should perform more or less the same. It might be, it should be a little bit more cautious at night especially when visibility isn't that great so perhaps adjusting its speed at night is an improvement i would like to see going forward from the system itself we have a left turn coming up here we have right of way it's a protected left sorry and uh don't think we'll be able to make it there but we can try if the system is assertive it will start ac accelerating quickly to match the speed of the cars in front it doesn't do that so that's an improvement I would like to see going forward. I would have accelerated to get up to speed. So continuing on here, the lane positioning is again still a bit off. You can see we're directly, we're more or less close to the line. We're supposed to be in the middle of the intersection here, more of the middle, making an S and getting into the intersection. So still off with the lane positioning. Okay, goes here, that's fine, that's good. Simple right turn, that's fine. 
Not to see there. Immediate left turn here. We have a car coming, but we have a lot of space and room to make that maneuver. That was, that was good. Mm, we had some uh, an abrupt slowdown there. I'm not too sure why it just randomly slowed down, but let me know in the comments what you think, why it, it just did that randomly. Slowing down a little bit here. I'm not too sure why. Max speed is 40, it's below 40. So now we have a no right on red here. Does it recognize that though? But it's from 4 to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. So we, uh, we are good to go. We can go now. It's not four, so we can go. So it doesn't recognize that. So I'm gonna to have to intervene there, give it a pedal, pedal stroke, and there we go. So that's another issue too as well. Will 12.4 give us that kind of ability where it recognizes times, like recognizes more sign details the intricacies of that is, is, is very difficult and complex because I read the sign, no right turns Mondays to Fridays from 4 to 6 p.m. But would the system eventually recognize that? Let us know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. So I had one intervention there and that's because it could not recognize the text on the sign. Continuing on, we have a truck making a wide turn. We should try to avoid that. Marshall did that pretty well, so that's good. Let me have some lines all over the place here that can confuse the system. You can see it here, but we have a lead car. So I'm hoping, I'm, I'm wondering actually if we didn't have these lead cars or lead car, how the system would have performed that. I think in the past it, it did pretty well and uh, there's no complaints on that. So that's pretty good. We have a car that wants to squeeze in on the left side. We should be practicing some kind of common courtesy by squeezing up a little bit. So I'm going to intervene there and perhaps 12.4, looking at training data, would know that in the future we can just go up a little bit if there's some room to let others pass. Just out, just out of common courtesy. But we have seen a lot of improvement in terms of having that built in from the training data before in the past with the 11 it would never consider even stopping behind the lights if in front of it was congested by cars and it couldn't and it would have gotten stuck in the middle of the actual intersection. We're seeing that this is now being built in, a kind of common courtesy behavior being built in from tons and tons of video feeds being trained on it and the system being trained on it. So we have some, you know, some weird meandering here in the road because of construction system is getting a little bit confused and I just give it a slight touch just a little tips because we have a car right behind us uh, we have construction on either side of the road the whole right lane is closed we only have the left side now to use for two-way traffic we're coming up to our final left turn so you know let me know what you think so far folks how you think it's performing you can see that this person here is getting a little bit too the too far to the right right side almost curb rushing their wheels we have these traffic lights no with their backs facing us that's the go we have lead cars here so I'm assuming that that's the reason why it's doing so well but we have to make a left turn here so it has to indicate it didn't indicate there at all so that was not good <laughs> it should have indicated to signal its intent and now we have the final left turn this one is really really tricky and I'm not too sure if it's actually going to make it. It's blind in front of us. The, the, the piece of that is blinding us. Uh, we can go quickly. A little bit, a little bit sketchy there. But uh, it realized that we had a red light. The car was going. And, uh, and so it made that final turn. I had to give it a little bit of tip just to say, yes, you're good to go. This overall system update is definitely going in the right direction. Of course, we saw that there are some things that 12.4 needs to improve on, which is the common courtesy, the lane positioning when making left turns. It needs to go more in the middle, in the box itself, and not align itself with those cars making the left turn. It tends to get 
them pretty annoyed. They Sometimes I, I believe I got honked once because we were blocking them from actually making the left turn. They can see if, if a car was oncoming or not because we were in front of them blocking them. So there's that. So lane positionings. The hesitancy is, is, is pretty good. It doesn't hesitate as much. It is confident. I only had to tap it twice for it just to confirm to make the maneuver. Uh, and overall, it seems pretty good. But we do have, again, when it comes to construction, it is a little bit of a challenge, but it has improved substantially, substantially. I hope you folks like this drive. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, click that notification bell. And of course, if you want to get yourself one of these diffusers, very sleek, and it lasts a really long time, check out the link below. It's Daily Lab Car Diffuser, and we have our discount code SPICY. Use that and you get 15% off. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.